Hey folks, Matt from MurderTheImage.com. You are looking at me being filmed by the Panasonic G85. I've set this up in full auto. It's in P mode, it's in auto ISO, and I've turned on AFC continuous. So this is continuous autofocus. You're listening to the audio straight out of the camera. This is the onboard mic, so I just didn't want to set up anything different. Um, it's a good test for you to hear the audio in my living room, so fairly large room, audio from the onboard mics. But mostly what I'm doing here is I want to see how the continuous focus works for video. So I'm right now about five, six feet away from the camera. It's in auto focus, AFC continuous focus. So I've set the camera, I've registered my face in the camera and I've set it to face tracking. So hopefully what you're seeing here is that I'm sharp in the image and I'm going to come in a little closer and see how it focuses. I can see in the screen that the little tracking thing comes around my face, the crosshairs come on my eye, and it appears, from what I can see in the screen here, to be tracking my face pretty good. It's locking in on my eye, and it's moving back and forth. I come in really close here. This would be this might be too close for the lens to focus. When I back out here, it looks like it's reacquiring focus, and it looks from the screen that we're pretty sharp here. This is all natural light in the room. I don't have any lighting on. I'm letting the camera do the exposure. I'm letting the camera do everything else. I just wanted to see how the camera follows me for continuous focus. Now, this is the 12 to 60 kit lens that you can get with the G85. So that also factors in here. It's not the fastest lens, it's a variable aperture lens, but it is the one marketed with the G85. So I wanted to see how the G85 can follow me using the kit lens. I'm maybe two feet away from the camera right now. From what I can see, it looks like it's followed me in pretty good. It'll be interesting for me to see when you guys do basically when I look at this video afterwards to see how it follows me in for focus. I'm not going to put commentary on here about that. In other words, I'm going to finish this video and upload it and you can see for yourself what you think, come up with your own conclusions. Um, maybe there's different settings I can tweak on this. It'll be interesting to see how this looks. I'm curious myself how it's following me. When I'm looking right now at the LCD, it looks like it's tracking me very good. Obviously, the, the champion of this is Canon's dual pixel AF. And I want to see how good the G85 can do now against the dual pixel AF. Now, we've got a little bit going for the camera, even though this is a slower lens, that also gives us a, a deeper depth of field. So that's going for the camera. I'm moving in pretty close here. It looks like it's it took a second, but it's got me there. And it'll be interesting to see how smooth the acquisition of focus was. Um, and I'm backing up again moving to the side and it looks like it's tracking me very well for my movements from what I can see in the LCD. So I'm just curious to see as you guys will see when I look at this myself and it seems like it's, re it, it's, it's required me here very good. I'm about maybe two feet away. When I come into a foot, I think we might be getting too close for maybe the lens or the camera. Or maybe it's got me right there. It just took a minute. It'll be interesting to see. I'm not sure. Hopefully I look okay. Just got out of the shower, so might be a little bit still red-eyed from the hot water. Anyways, um, you guys see what you think. Watch the video. Um, hopefully you've got an idea of how well the G85 tracks. Again, this is with the 12 to 60 kit lens, and I've got it all set up in manual, so or, uh, sorry, in auto, full auto, in program mode. So don't be judging color balance or anything like that, other than if you just want to know what the G85 does in full auto, which from what I can see in the LCD, it's doing a pretty good job for color and everything else and for exposure. So I've got sunlight coming in from the window here. It's not super bright, but it is, as you can see from my hand lighting up right there, the light is coming from over on this side, big bay window. This side is darker over here. So the camera's doing full exposure right now. It's, doing, it's handling everything. I've got it in auto ISO, in program mode, and AFC. That's continuous autofocus, and I'm looking to see how well the camera tracks me as I move along here. I've got the face uh, focus setting turned on. In other words, I stored my face in memory, and it's tracking my face now. I actually put my name into the camera, and it shows up as Matt. It sees me. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm going to wrap this one up, and I'll be back soon with a strictly audio test, testing the G85 uh, onboard mics versus throwing on a shotgun mic, a Rode shotgun mic on the uh, hot shoe on the top. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com. And if you want to check out the specs 
best price, whatnot, on the G85, check the comments below, and uh, I will put a link in the video description uh, for you to check that out on Amazon.